Hi, I'm Ellen Toivola. I teach sixth grade math at Linwood Monroe Arts Plus. This week at iLearn, we have been learning lots of different apps to use on our iPads. A big focus for me in sixth grade math has been thinking about how to flip the classroom so I can take advantage of all the time that I get with my kids. Instead of spending lots of time teaching new concepts, I can use the iPad as a tool so the kids can learn how to do the math on their own also instilling a growth mindset in the kids. So here's my regular sixth grade math course. If we click on it, it'll open up. And I have it separated by chapters. So the first chapter I'm going to teach is chapter three decimals. I have it set up by days. This corresponds to section 3.1, comparing and ordering decimals. If I click in here, there are two assignments for the kids to do. There's a little blurb for them to read just to kind of understand what the point of the day is. But the first thing they're going to do is this top assignment. It says out of class work. This is the flipped part of the class. They need to do this at home. If you click this link, it'll go right to my book that I put together using iBook Author. There's a little bit of a title page, but then the next page is the textbook that I want them to read. And it's only one page, and it really focuses on one thing that I want the kids to take out of their studies. I can also include some widgets that can draw some conclusions and show some patterns in math. The next page is where more of the flipping happens. I've embedded some videos so the kids can have their own private teacher. Let's compare 9.97 to 9.7.98. To Each video is really short. This video is four minutes and I think this video is two minutes. At the same time, I'm gonna have some Avid notes on the side. So for the first chapter, the kids can see how to take Avid notes from these videos. Altogether, I'm hoping the kids spend maybe 10 minutes, possibly 15 minutes on their homework. At the end, there's a stop and check portion. This is a quiz that's just for the kids. It doesn't get connected back to their grades at all. They answer to the best of their ability and then it'll tell them if they're right or not. At the top I wrote, if there's something wrong, just go back and recheck the videos. So they're not getting penalized for getting them wrong. Instead, there's that growth mindset. It's more important that they understand. And if the video is just four minutes long, they're much more likely to go back and rewatch. After they've finished and they've taken their notes, they're done with their homework for the night. The next day they come into class, we go back into iTunes U, and that second assignment says section 3.1. Whatever our assignment is in class, so maybe it's a worksheet, maybe it's textbook pages, but it also could be something that we're constructing. We're using pattern blocks or we're using fraction strips. They could take a picture of their work in class and then they can upload it back here so I can have that understanding of what they know. So I'm really looking forward to flipping, um, flipping this year. It looks like it's gonna be a great thing to do with our iPads.